Assalamualaikum and good afternoon. So for today, we will look into how to configure a XAMPP control panel. So if you have already installed XAMPP, you will be able to launch the XAMPP control panel from your start menu. And then when you have already launched the XAMPP control panel, you will be presented with this interface. So you need to start up the Apache web server and MySQL database management system in order to create a PHP web application required for this class. So go ahead and press start for Apache and MySQL. So if everything went accordingly, you will notice that there are no error codes displayed on the service log. So you have seen this. Uh, it is written as Apache attempting to start Apache app, status change detected, running. And then you should also see another log regarding MySQL. So you can see that Apache is running on the default HTTP code port, that is port 80, and port 443 for SSL or secured socket layer. And MySQL default port is 3306. Ensure that your computer is able to run and execute both Apache and MySQL. And then, in order to create a simple website, you only have to click Explore. So, click by clicking Explorer, it will open a file explorer within the XAMPP folder. So, in order to create a basic web application, you just have to click on the htdocs and then you need to create a folder for your web application. You can name anything for your folder but you have to remember the name of the folder afterward if you want to access the folder. So you can name it uh, anything, okay, like a system, okay, a system, uh, like a system for uh, registration so you can uh, type here system register okay just like my example then you can enter the htdoc and then you can create a new text file or you can start up a uh, notepad plus <coughs> plus okay so from the notepad plus plus you can start uh, creating a new file so, uh, to start an HTML file, you only have to put in a declaration uh, of HTML file. You type here doc type HTML and then be done with it. So, you can uh, save it as index.html right inside your uh, folder, system register folder. So, change it to HTML. Okay, have it touch markup language and then you will have it as in as HTML. So uh, creating an HTML5 document is easy. You only have to include the wrap it with the HTML tag, okay, like this one, and then close it with HTML tag. And then it has a body and head. So you start it with head first and then body. So Head and body. Easy to remember. So inside the head, you put in a title. Okay, the things inside the head are not printable or not displayed in the browser. So the title is the title of the page. So you can put here the front page of the system. Right? And then for the body, you can start here by writing the Header. So H1 is the heading number one. Okay, the heading number one. And then H2 is the heading number two. You can find this all inside your notes that I've already uploaded you in uh, uploaded to you and for you in the you future uh, e-learning portal. Okay, and then you have paragraph. 
So if you want to write uh, something inside HTML or inside a website, you have to write it inside the paragraph. This is an example paragraph. And then you can also create a list. Okay. So there are two types of lists, unordered and ordered list. So UL is a form of unordered list. Okay. Item 1. Okay, this is to the first list. And then item 2. Okay, the second item in the first list. And item 3. Okay, this is all covered in the uh, notes. And then if you want it to make it a clickable, uh, clickable link, you can write there. Okay, this is a clickable link. So write it uh, as a href. Okay, this is for clickable link. So you can point out the href to any form of website. So you can write it, uh, point it uh, to UITM website or whatever website that you prefer. And it will become a clickable link. Okay, to test out your uh, web pages, you only have to use your browser. Okay, you can use either Edge or you can use uh, Google Chrome. And then type in the address. So address for the server inside the computer is 127.0.0.1. Right, and then slash the name of your folder. So I type it back the name of the folder, system register, and then you will get back the page. Okay, this is your first page, right? The first page. Okay, if you look here, there is a certain error. So I forgot to close up the unordered list. So to close up the unordered list, just uh, put in a slash. Okay, put in a slash and then you refresh back. Okay, and then... Uh, all of the page would be displayed accordingly. So uh, that's all for our tutorial for today. Please make sure that you are able to run the control panel and then also able to start out the HTTP web server, the Apache HTTP web server through the use of Zen control panel. So there wouldn't be any yellow or red over here. So if you are encountering problem, then you should watch the next video where I show you how to remedy the problem or troubleshoot a problem with them control panel. So that's all for today. Hopefully you enjoy the video and be seeing you back in another video.